G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video to go over what I believe are the top 5 apps on Linux Mint 19 uh, for the distribution that's coming out shortly, latest release there. Now, as a full disclaimer, this is my subjective opinion, so take it with a bit of a grain of salt, but these are all default apps on the new Linux Mint 19. So, starting off uh, with number 5, uh, easily on the list would be Driver Manager. So, this enables you to uh, update your, or actually use proprietary proprietary drivers, say for an, an NVIDIA card, a Wi-Fi card, and the list goes on and on and on. Even CPU microcode proprietary drivers for that as well. So if something's not quite working the way that you want it to, you can always go to Driver Manager to get that hardware working. So that's number five. Number four would be uh, something called Redshift, which is uh, something that's getting pretty popular in the uh, the modern day, which is uh, it enables a bit of a, a red hue so that it causes you to go to sleep. Uh, that kind of thing when you uh, need to. Um, I, I haven't actually read the science on it, but they're doing it with phones, tablet devices, laptops. They're doing it with everything these days. So it's called Redshift, and it hangs around down the bottom there. So that's pretty much that one. I won't get into that too much. The next is uh, the Terminal. So the Terminal, if you've seen any of my other videos, number three, the Terminal, then you will know that I actually get into the Terminal a lot. You can do pretty much anything that you want to do on the Terminal if you really wanted, and uh, it's quite the powerful little tool there that sometimes simplifies things things more than doing something uh, the graphical way. So that's pretty much that there. Uh, number two would be, uh, let's see, probably uh, something to do with the application suite of uh, the Office suite. So let's go across to there. And we've got LibreOffice, and not just LibreOffice, but LibreOffice 6, which has come out fairly recently. So you've got your uh, your spreadsheets, your PowerPoints, your writers, the the drawer, which is the uh, like Inkscape, all of those ones. Um, vector imaging, things like that, but I uh, won't get, again, won't get too much into that, but uh, it lets you to do pretty much everything you want to do in uh, through these, these Office applications, similar to what Windows, Microsoft gives you. Not everything, but uh, pretty much most things that you need for the most part there. And last but not least is the uh, program. So number one is TimeShift. Now TimeShift is pretty cool. It is available in uh, Linux Mint 19 by default as well, as all these are on the list, as mentioned. Uh, it does allow you to uh, you back up, do, do backups basically, but not just uh, data backups of your files, but also system restore uh, backups, things of that nature as well. So something that you might see uh, akin to something on a Windows machine that's networked. So it's actually quite cool the way that it works. I'll be popping up a video of this one shortly, but again, not going to get into it now. So there's a lots and lots of uh, apps hanging around left, right, and center here for what is really cool and what's going on in Linux Mint 19, the, the latest release, which is currently in beta, but it's coming out as the full release shortly. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was just my little subjective uh, viewpoint or opinion. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, hey, these are the default apps, all default apps on Linux Mint 19, so you can get them at the click of a button. So cheers guys hope you've enjoyed super quick one uh yeah thanks for your time ciao